cyber event in roblox shine simulator has just been released let's go ahead and head into the new area it looks so great oh this new area looks actually insane the devs definitely have spent a long long time on this hey just a quick reminder to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and it costs you nothing thank you now let's go ahead and look at what they've added in what are these crates right here do you have to break them oh you get okay this is so cool all right so today we're going to be going through every single thing inside of this event all right so let's look at these crates as you can see nothing's happening so you have to swing your sword in order to break them this is going to be so cool so you get 10 and 5 okay so these five probably are the season pass oh can i get the season pass five robux bucks in my account holy crap that is a lot was that ten dollars okay i don't have i don't have enough but i will add funds to my account so let's go ahead and look through all the places you can go so there's up here oh there's a crate up here so i assume yes you can jump all the way up here so there's probably some hidden easter eggs around the map uh which is just pretty cool i do love the new event area and i'm glad that they did add in an, an event that is not related to a um i guess a holiday yeah that's what i was going for a event that is not related to a holiday mainly because this can basically stay in the game forever now if they feel like it, they can just add another portal and boom, Cyber City in the game forever, which is just great. I'm excited for this. Now let's go ahead and look at all this place. So you can, these are called credits. This is the new event token. Um, let's go ahead and look at all this that I have here. I'm pretty sure these no longer give me uh, any, yeah, they no longer give me any event tokens. Wow, what is this? Are these the artifact? Because if so, they look sick. Megabyte, okay, that, that looks pretty insane. This one, okay, so I'm guessing the TV is the best one. Let's check the winter pass. Uh, N10 A, oh wow, that is a mouthful of a name. Let's look at the new skin. Usagi, I'm gonna assume that is better than um, my skin that I have on, the Winter Warrior. And the Neon Nightblade, that looks sick. Okay, that's insane. Okay, let's go ahead and um, break a couple more crates, see what we can get. Oh, this guy got him down low for me. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, I'm not sure how fast these guys respawn yet. I'll probably do some later testing in another future video. But anyway, we have gone through a lot of this area. So, I'm pretty sure the only two ways you can get them are breaking crates and this AFK circle. And the base for the AFK circle is plus four, which is just great to start off with. And I'm pretty sure they kept the same rates, plus four every couple seconds. Now, they did update the door over here. This just looks, oh, uh, it looks so beautiful. I'm hoping that they do keep this next to the permanent winter zone. That would be sick because I think Cyber City event does look insane. And I'm glad that they came up with like, not a, like, you know, not like a holiday themed event, you know. I think that this is just great. It shows how creative the devs are. And I, I'm pretty sure this may be permanent. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just hoping that it will be. Now, let's go ahead. Whoa. Someone already broke 15,000 boxes. I don't know when this event came out. I think recently, maybe like a day ago or like a couple hours ago. But either way, this looks insane. The pets, I'm assuming, are going to be the 0.1 multiplier. Maybe not 2, 1.5. This one will probably be the 2. Wait, no, no, no. It'll probably be... 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, and, and 3 multiplier. This will probably end up being 4. Oh, and that's great. The <coughs> they just look the pets look insane actually. Wow. And I do like the new look of the artifacts. They look great. Also, something I did notice when I opened my inventory. Look at the Arctic mm, Doomblade and the Blizzard Bane. That's very interesting that there are two of them. Or that, not two of them, that they look different, you know. I think that's just uh, interesting that they decided to change the design. So let's go ahead and look around at all the area. They made it like its own separate place. Look at all the building and thought they put into this. This is an actually pretty, this is just like really, uh, really pretty to look at, you know. Um, these boxes that they did scatter around the map are pretty cool. Let's see, how many do you get from them? You get about 10 get 10 credits and 10 uh of the what are they called 10 credits and 10 um event to her battle pass stuff season pass stuff my bad 
I do think that looks just pretty nice and that this entire event is pretty dang slick. Um, the orbs look beautiful and the art that they added in is just great. I'm so glad that they added in an event because that winter one was going on for a while. Ooh, credits. Okay. Yeah, I do love the AFK circle. They did put a lot of effort into it. And I think that this update is pretty dang good. If you did enjoy this recap of the new Cyber City update, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out greatly, and I will see you in the next video.